News 46, local coverage you can count on. Happy New Year! Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies arrived to the Stickbelt home just east of Highway 160 and Blosser Ranch Road on Morales Lane to find smoke coming from the roof. We reported a structure fire with the people evacuating. Upon arrival, we found smoke showing from the area of the roof and going out to the rear side of the building. We did find it as the guys were advancing an inch and three-quarter hand line through the front door that the building was not totally evacuated and that there was still one person in the house. They went into a rescue mode. The person was removed out the back of the house uninjured. They then commenced their fire suppression. The fire has been extinguished. It held to the area of two rooms within the house. Do we know at this point what caused the fire? It's very preliminary at this point, but we're looking at an accidental cause possibly related to the use of a fireplace. And then also as well, the person that uh, wasn't leaving the home, were they trying to extinguish the fire? We found a garden hose located in that area, so it appears that they were trying to suppress the fire on their own. But as you know, life safety is the first thing that we take into consideration. So our primary focus went from a suppression objective to a life safety objective. Did this go through Clark County first? That's what the indicators were when it was dispatched that not, uh, Clark County received the initial two calls. And then all occupants, how many occupants do you know? Uh, at this point, I'm only aware of two, but there may be more. Are they able to live in the home at this point? Uh, we're evaluating that now. There's uh, quite a bit of damage in two of the rooms. And then are we going to be calling Valley Electric to shut off the electricity? We're making that determination as we do our assessment. Right now, we want to document the scene and ensure that all the, the hazardous materials, such as smoke and such, are removed from the residence. Um, I know it's getting colder right now. A lot of fireplaces, a lot of wood-burning stoves. We just had another one with a wood-burning stove. Can you give some advice on that? It's a great reminder. You can't leave a fire unattended in the structure. Make sure you take all the safety precautions, keeping the fuel load away from fireplaces, wood-burning stoves. Make sure the clearances are appropriate. And again, never leave it unattended. And then as well as space heaters. Absolutely. Same considerations. 